All right, I think it's good. Yep, it's good. All right, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am back who play 100 here, and welcome to my live let's play of Batman Beyond the game. It may be no now you may be noticing something. I'm doing a lot of Batman games all of a sudden. Well, it's more of uh, a special occasion. In any case, I'm playing this on an N64. I am not playing it on hard because I only beat this game on normal. Now, if you ever want to beat this game, just pick defensively and you're going to win every time. If you wish to use the rumble. In any case, this is the N64 style. And by God, it looks bad. I didn't press anything. <laughs> it just went like that on its own. Oh, wow, this looks bad on the HD TV. Any case, because I... Uh, because I picked the defensive suit, uh, bad. See, he has these giant bats on his arm for, well, more defense. Any case, Bruce, read me. Uh, you read me. Something's going down at the Gotham. Maybe I should start reading this on my normal screen. Something's going down at the Gotham airspace. I'm going to check it out. Be careful, Terry. That's a strange lab, and it's only used for research experiments. There's not a much com there's not much common theft. A uh, common thief could do with any of that. I guess we'll find out. Yes, there's no voice acting in case you haven't noticed. Now, it controls on a 3D plane, by the way, we just got the Nimble Suit, which if you press uh, down on the D-pad, will transform you into Nimble Batman, which you can double jump and do a flying jump kick. But I'm just going to stick to defensive and only use the Nimble when I have to. And now we found key cards, just like in the anime. Oh, anime. I'm such a nerd. It's just like in the show, Batman can put his hand on doors to uh, listen in to sort of wiretap as to what people are saying. In any case, uh, with the key cards, you can't progress through the game without finding all the key cards. Or you can't progress, period, without finding all the key Oh. No. God, this is so laggy right now. In any case, by... Excuse me, by pressing the A button, you were able to do a kick. And by pressing the B button, you are able to you are able to punch. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, when real life stuff comes in, it's happening to provision. There's nothing much I can do about it. Anything. Um, if you see it, yeah, see it. Okay, so if you press. Uh, if you are running while pressing left on the C stick, you can do a gut check with the uh, defensive suit, easily making this the best suit in the game. I'm not even joking, the gut check will help out on so many occasions, especially with the defensive properties of the suit in general. Now this game has a live system, and look, I'm gut checking him. Remember, you gotta be moving while hitting left on the C stick. In any case, to jump, you press the, uh, what am I pressing? Hang on The L button on the, uh, oh, whoa, chill out, bro, chill out, bro. Uh, the L button on the N64 controller. I don't know how it controls on a PlayStation controller, but as you may be noticing, that's happening. Yeah, I don't know what's immediately causing it. Actually, this entire game is bugging out on an HDTV, so... I have to deal with it. In any case, there's nothing the right button does, but if you want to do the most damage, kick everything. Or gut check everything. It's your choice. I prefer to gut check. And the more and by the way, the more lives you have, the more chances you have to not screw up the game because your lives infinitely well, not infinitely refilled. Let me rephrase that. Whenever you lose a life, you start back from where you died and with a boss. Well, this thing, the boss's health lower to whatever you got them at. Now, I'm 
know that a lot of people say that this game is pretty bad. When they say it, they mean the PlayStation version, not the um, N64 version, which is the one that I'm playing, which is a hell of a lot more tolerable. Holy cow, it's Batman! What do we do? Calm down, I'll take care of Batman. Keep working. Man, I think this made Brock sound very calm there. You got a death wish, Batman? Come on, just try and stop us. Actually, I made Brock sound like he's very bored. Any case, how I deal with every boss? Start gut checking them. Yeah. I only found this out at when I was going to fight the Joker later on in the game. Just gut check the crap out of him, and they can't do a darn thing to you. Uh oh, Bonk! We, we busted the console. What? You're useless, you blew it! Well, we got the memory board. Uh, I guess that'll have to do. Make them all sound the same. Let's get out of here. And that was actually one of those two are some of Bronx's attacks that I didn't ha give him a chance to show off because I was constantly gut checking him. Rough night. You know the Jokers are going after splicing now? Uh, okay then. Well, it seems like the joke. Oh, come on! The third time this month they stole a high component. I can't read this! I'm not even pressing anything, it's going this fast on its own. We busted the console, so we had to leave it. But the console's memory board is not much. Uh, uh, it's nothing. You lose us! Oh, Jesus! That face is going to haunt my nightmares. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, they did. They redid a couple of uh, art styles, and that one was the scariest. All right. So I showed off defensive, and defensive is the most broken one in the entire game. Now I'm going to show off nimble, and I will still have to show off offensive and standard. But uh, defensive and nimble is the ones that I recommend that you go up against. Get me go up against. Go with the most. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to see you all again. As you know, I read it bit. God, this looks blocky. <laughs> N64 games. Hello, Gotham. Joker. Joker again. Oh no. <laughs> I sound like an old drunken man trying to read uh, Shakespeare or something. Bruce, can you hear me? He's not answering. I gotta get him. Out of here. I'm not even going to bother doing an old lady. Barbara, uh, Bruce is in trouble. How did I even get all the way down here? Wasn't I just with him a moment ago? Alright, now Nimble is obviously the fastest of the bunch, but it's also uh, about the second strongest. Standard is the third, and defensive is all around the best. Again, because of the gut checking. Now, if you mash the C-stick, you can do dodges and ducks and cartwheels, but... You know, it's not, it's nothing compared to the good old gut check. And I gotta say, uh, even though this is an old N64 game, models actually look pretty nice. I mean, N64 wise, they're no Ocarina of Time, but it's still pretty good. Now, because I don't have a defensive suit uh, along with my gut check ability, I may die a lot. Ugh. Now, the, the, don't get me wrong, the dodging can be useful, I just haven't had a chance to master it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, move! Dang it. Alright, now, the giant splicer, uh, well, I call them splicers, I know they may have a different name for the game standpoint, but I just call them the giant splicers, or bulls, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they hit the second hardest in the game, I believe. And while the Coyote Wolf guys, Wolfgang Pup, whatever, uh, are about normal, while the regular Joker goons don't do anything. Now these, I don't know. I, I don't know how to get past them. I believe you have to have the standard, which comes equipped with batterings and whatnot to get past it, but not too sure. Now, this game is actually not that long, too. This is very, very, um... Oh! Right in the throat! Uh, it's actually very, very short. Oh, 
but see, ow. You know, besides a whole missile to the face, I kind of avoided that one pretty nicely. Ah! I'm getting a lot of slowdown here. Don't know why. Well, then again, I'm also not playing a legitimate copy of the game. I do own the game, but it's kind of burnt out at the moment. But as you can see, I was able to manipulate dodging to its fullest ability, but, um... You know, it's, I, it's still no replacement for the gut check. Yeah, I am running this on an emulator, if you're wondering. Only because I, my original copy got burnt out. I still own it, just got burnt out. Uh, now, in case you don't know any of the history, or the lore, rather, behind Batman Beyond, uh, it's, it takes place in the year 2018. Yeah, I remember that, even though I haven't watched a single episode in about 10 years. That's how great my memory is. Uh, but it takes place in 2018, where, uh, you know, Batman has finally retired because, you know, he kind of used a gun in the middle of a fight. And, you know, that goes against his code and whatnot. So, uh, he thought, I'm getting too old. I shouldn't be using guns, firearms, or whatnot to stop crimes. I'm not Spider-Man Noir. Can't do that. So, uh, skip ahead about a few more years after Bats quit. And you have Terry McGinnis. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to say a kid... Who has a particularly bad repu has a reputation for starting fights and whatnot. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So enemies can escape in the game if they don't feel like they want to fight you. I don't know. That's the first time it happened to me. But um, Terry McGinnis had a reputation for causing trouble. So one day he uh, was on the run from the Joker's, and he ended up at Wayne Manor by complete accident. Where Bruce Wayne fought off all the Jokers, by the way, the Jokers being a, uh, sort of crime, uh, a gang name. So, you know, Bruce Wayne fought off all the Jokers, and Terry's like, you know what, I just want to repay this old guy. He, he didn't have to do that, but he did do that, so that, that was, you know, that was a respectable type of situation. But in any case, um, oh, damn it. Come off it, Wolf, come off it. Uh, any case, um, so, cut to about a day later, I think it's when it happened, uh, Terry's father got killed by a bunch of Jokers, and, you know, he suspected that, uh, because it was, because he was working for Bruce's company, that it had something to do with Wayne, so he event, so, he, uh, went snooping around in Wayne Manor, found the Batsuit, and, uh, Watch the rest of the episode to know what happens, because a lot happens that I don't want to spoil. So in any case, uh, Joker has... Jesus Christ, I just noticed that running animation. It looks like Joker is one of those really cheesy, uh... Uh, really, really cheesy cartoon villains. I mean, even more cheesier than the Joker. Ugh. 